Good evening. In this video, we are going to know the different art forms during the Spanish era. That was from 1521 to 1898. And we are going to answer what kinds of arts were developed during those times, Spanish colonization. Okay, so during those times, the cruciform churches following the Latin cross were built. Okay, and they used the adobe, the limestones or bricks, and the construction of thick buttresses or wing-like projections reinforced the church structure to make it more resistant to earthquakes. Okay, so ang titibay pala ng mga uh, old na mga buildings because they were using this. Okay, the adobe and the bricks. When we say adobe, is a kind of clay used as a building material, typically in the form of dried bricks. Okay, so this one. So, marami pa rin mga buildings ngayon, no? Nagawa pa noong time ng mga Spanish. Okay? And here, uh, we are going to talk about the important happenings related to arts during the period of Spaniards. Okay, so here, uh, Spanish artisans were engaged in making icons or saints made in wood or ivory. This one. Okay, ivory. Ano ba itong ivory? Um, it is a white colored, uh, of white colored rather, name after and derived from the material made from the tusk of an elephant or teeth of certain animals. Okay? Like this one. Okay. And another important happenings during those times, uh, the Catholic liturgical music was introduced in 1742. Okay, alam naman natin that Spaniards, they were really bringing the religion here in our country. Okay, so in 1742, Catholic liturgical music was introduced. And then, um, the choral music were introduced also. And Marcelo Adonai was the Filipino church music composer. Okay, and another important happenings, Mangyans made the Baybayin script made of bamboo pools. Okay, this one. Uh, the bamboo pools were cut into smaller nodes and then the script was carved. As you can see here, the script, uh, the script was carved like short poems. Okay, and this one is an example of the Baybayin script. Baybayin is one of the Philippines' ancient scriptures and forms of writing. Okay? And also, the secular music was formed, the awit and the corridor. Another is the zarzuela. Okay? The zarzuela was introduced. It was an opera which features singing and dancing with prose dialogue which allow the story to be carried out in a song. So this one, this is a typical example of Zarzuela, okay? It features singing, uh, there is dancing and dialogue, and while they portray no, the story. And this one, the most awarded, okay? This one, the he was Severino Reyes, and this is Hermogenes Ilagan. Okay, these two were the most awarded and distinguished playwrights as they wrote the Zarzuela in Tagalog. They were playwrights, the playwrights or the dramatist or the person who writes the plays in the theater. Okay, and uh, Honorata Atang Dilarama. Yes, she is Honorata Atang Dilarama was awarded as the most celebrated leading actress during the Spanish period. Okay? And then we have here the first Sinacolo was written in 1704 by Gaspar Aquino de Belen. We are very familiar with this one, Sinacolo. Okay, the Sinacolo is a traditional Filipino dramatization of the life and times of Jesus Christ. And the Comedia also 
were introduced, Comedia di Santo. It centers the life of Christ and the secular Comedia. So this one is a religious Comedia. Okay? Uh, it is called Comedia di Santo. It centers the life of Christ or of any saints. Or uh, it usually seen during the church celebration. So as you can notice, uh, the, the arts during those times were really centered with the religion, specifically the Catholic. Okay, and the different uh, dance forms were also introduced, no? Like this one, Kariniusa folk dance. Okay, uh, we're still, some of us were still dancing up, uh, dancing that up until today, okay? So we have the Pandango, and then we have the Polka, the Habanera, the Danza, and the Rigodon, okay? So we are still thankful, no? We are we are uh, thankful also with the colonization of Spanish because we have imitated their arts, okay? And we have here the visual arts, this one, okay? Visual arts and paintings must be a visual interpretation of biblical texts. Masyadong religious talaga yung approach. Center to Catholic devotion. Example, this one, the heaven earth and hell by Jose dance in 1850 rather uh, heaven earth and hell by Jose dance okay so what is this painting all about okay so this painting is not to be mistaken as a pious one but reflects more on the faithful belief system established to maintain and identify the good and the evil okay and then we have the reprographic art of printmaking was introduced. Okay, this marks the the creation no, of the Doctrina Christiana, the first printed books in the Philippines, compiling songs, lyrics, commandments, sacraments, and other catechetical material. Okay, so this one, the Doctrina Christiana was an early book on the Catechism of the Catholic Church. Written in 1593 by Fray Juan de, la de Placencia and is believed to be one of the earliest printed books in the Philippines. Okay. Okay. And then we have here the famous painting during those times, the Juan Luna Spoliarium. Okay. This one. This one, a gold medal at Madrid, Spain. Okay, so let us know the story behind this painting. Okay, why, why, um, bakit ito na nanalo doon sa Spain? Okay, gold medal pa. Okay, so the setting of the painting is believed to be Roman Circus, a venue for public events under the Roman Empire. It features dying and dead gladiators who have been striped of their weapons and garments the left of the painting okay look at the left part of the painting features audiences who seem to only watch the slaughter of the gladi gladiators okay nanonood lang okay while on the right look at the right there are people who appear to be mourning okay uh, mourning family members looking for their loved ones in the pile of dead bodies. Okay, so that was the story behind this painting. And we also have one of the famous paintings during those times. This one, uh, silver medal at Madrid, Spain. Parin, okay, the Virgenes Christianis Expuestas al Populacho. Okay, it was painted by Felix Resurrection Hidalgo. Okay, so look at this painting. This one is the painter, si uh, Felix Resurrection Hidalgo. And on this side, this is his painting. Okay, so the Las Virgenes Christianas Expuestas al Populacho is an oil on canvas painting. Okay, it portrays unfortunate women as virgins being led out, stolen from, and ridiculed. Okay, 
The women are young virgins cornered by a mob of sexually hungry Roman men. One of the men has his hand over the semi-naked female whose eyes are looking up to heaven, asking and begging for help that never comes. Okay, this was the one of the famous paintings during the Spanish period. Okay. All right, so okay, so that would be all for the Spanish period, the arts, the important happenings during those times. And I hope that you find this video relevant and informative. Thank you so much for listening.